Good day everyone, I hope you're all doing great out there. Today we've got a bit of a bonus video for you all that I put together after an interview that uh, came out on the 29th of April from the uh, channel um, Kinda Funny Gamescast. Now Todd Howard sat down for a one-on-one -on -one interview with host Greg Miller to talk about all things gaming, Bethesda Game Studios, Starfield and the new Fallout series. So let's get into it. So during the Gamescast, Greg asked Todd what a Bethesda game is and how does Starfield fit that mould, if you like. Todd replied saying, and I quote, Well, number one for us, it's about the player and their freedom, you know, what kind of agency they have to kind of go off and explore, make the character that they want, and then kind of know, do whatever they want to do. So more than they can push that in terms of, hey, go do what you want. We're going to try to pay that off in some kind of way. Now, Todd also went on to then say that when you're looking at open world games, there's always going to be some sort of jank. Now, that was the phrase that Greg used when he described Bethesda games. Not in a derogatory manner, though. I might add that. I have to emphasize that. And he said on a certain level, well, the tested edge, or it's doing something that you know hadn't intended it to do, but ultimately that is where the game was now when asked about data and how they believe starfield is done he said data wise he believes starfield is the most solid release that they've given in its complexity at that point in time but there's always going to be some things that are missed or people want us to do better or we just keep pushing and make it better and better so again some of that comes with the style of the game during the interview, Greg said how he loved Starfield and that the choice was there for players to build bases if they wanted and the game gave choice to the player, which is, from my experience, 100%. I don't know about you guys, but I keep getting waylaid and going on a mission and then another mission pops up and I forget about the first one and I go and do a bit of exploring. So yeah, that is about a path and a direction, but nothing is hard set. Now, Todd said that with all of that, all the games that they'd like to make, and they have made, they'd rather give you the option, right? He's a big believer in players being self-directed. So if you want to sit at a terminal, read all the logs from Fallout 4 for like the Overseer, for example, or in Starfield, read about um, AI taking over a, um, a location or a compound, etc., then go ahead. But also, they're providing the action that you want as well. All players at some point or another will want a break from the action and will just want to chill out. So they've allowed for that in their games. Todd himself likes to enjoy the sunset, stood on a hill while in games after he's done all the action pieces. Alright guys, a little bit on some creation kit news now. When the questions were asked about the long awaited creation kit, it was clear that it was moving forwards. Now, I covered this a little while ago with regards to uh, SteamDB and what looked to be like creation kit modules from SteamDB. Now, Todd did say that the kit has already been distributed to some creators to test out, and we're going to hear more information on that soon, but nothing has been firmed up just yet, guys. So all of you Xbox guys out there, all you PC guys, keep holding on for creation kit. All right, it is coming. One thing that Todd did emphasize was the modders out there. You guys are doing an amazing job and the creators program he thinks is one of the best things they've put together because it's seeing them go from a hobby to professional. He even said that quite a few of them have actually been hired into the studio as well, which is great news. Now, as you guys know, I've been reviewing mods on a weekly basis. And my personal feelings on this is the modding community has been doing a stellar job with the tools and limited set of tools that they have right now. Now, I personally want to shout out some modders here who I think have done phenomenal. So, number one, Inquisitor Overhaul's return. His mods, he's got over, I think, 160 of them now. Fantastic job. OG Tennessee with all the TN mods on Nexus mods. Brilliant mods. Gameplay changing. Uh, Sniper 9 and also Tank Girl 44 for her Colony 1. 
um, that is a massive, massive expansion. All right. If you want to check out any of those mods video guy guys, then check out the card above for the playlist where I do do weekly mods reviews. And if you are a Star Wars fan, then go check out this Friday's video when it releases at 7 p.m. UK. All right. There will be a bit of a treat for you there. Now, guys, we're saving the best to last. Todd was asked about updates in the Shattered Space DLC, to which he said the following. In the update that we have coming, I think it's going to get announced in a few days, actually this week, and be up on Steam Beta. It's got some great stuff for shipbuilding in it, as well as um, a separate update to Shattered Space. Now, just to clarify on that point, this update that is coming out in the next week or so will be a completely different update to Shattered Space. I'm not saying Shattered Space is coming now. It is coming in the fall. They have now confirmed that, okay? But this update that is coming and the future updates are going to be quite large updates, right? He's keeping information close to his chest, but one thing that we do know is that there, this update coming is going to have some additional shipbuilding stuff in it as well. Um, they're also putting in some map stuff for cities. So uh, that's the information that we've got right now. Um, once we do have the information released on the Discord or any other news outlet, I will let you guys know. Um, stay tuned to the channel so that you can um, get the latest updates from myself. And hit that like button, smash the notification bell so you can get those notified when I release those videos. If you do like the content, guys, please hit that subscribe button, right? It's completely free to you, and it helps the channel out massively. Guys, thank you for joining us on this quick one. I hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.